Okay, let's UV unwrap these sons of guns. In order to do that, we have to first apply all of our modifiers. So select every object and then select every modifier. All right, we you can't UV unwrap a mirror, so to speak. We have to have true, genuine, authentic geometry before we can unwrap. So with our spacesuit selected, I'm gonna bring uh, the viewport levels down all the way to show you that these are the polygons that make our uh, spacesuit. And it's just way easier for you to see the seams. So we're going to UV unwrap. I'm gonna hide everything except our spacesuit. And now essentially I wanna cut our geometry open essentially so that what we're doing is we're creating seams and seams are a way to let Blender know how we want to map the 3D geometry onto a two dimensional image. Okay. You can just right click mark seam. This is why edge loops. We talk about why geometry is important. This is why geometry is important. And I'm going to create another seam along the inseam of the pant. That's you've heard that word before. Um, and I'm going to create another seam. And then once you select all of it, after you hit these seams, you're going to see it's going to be crazy. Okay. Just hit U and then hit unwrap. Okay. And wherever you marked those seams, Blender is going to cut uh, those seams apart. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing on the head as well. We're really only going to do the back of the head and then make a T pose across the head. Okay. And then we're going to do the exact same thing after we mark our seams. Um, you want to do the inside of the mouth as well. Um, we'll do, we'll do materials in a minute, but again, this is, you know, you want to do this a handful of times. And then after you've marked your seams, select everything in edit mode, hit U, unwrap, and then boomtown. Okay. We got to do the eyeballs as well. And the eyeballs just select an edge loop around the center of the eyeball, mark that seam, select everything, tap U, hit unwrap, bada bing, bada boom. And then uh, do the same thing for the other eyeball. Okay. And now we, we're essentially creating UV maps for Blender to mark the three dimensional geometry onto a two dimensional image. Okay. All right. Nicely done. So, all right. Progress.